record, sorry. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Thanks. Uh, hello and welcome to the Tourism NT Trade Training Program. My name is Kieran Smith. I'm the um, Distribution Coordinator for Tourism NT. Today I'm joined here by Alice, uh, with Alice Bowden, who's a colleague of mine. Thank you for joining us here today, Alice. So before we kick off, um, just a reminder to make sure that you do keep your video off and your mute buttons on during this presentation. If you've got any questions, you can send them through the chat box and we can answer them as we go along. There'll be a QA and a at the end of each of the um, operator presentations, so you can ask questions then and we will be recording this session to put it onto our website later this week. So welcome everyone. Um, it's great to have so many agents here today uh, from Australia and New Zealand. Everyone's in various stages of COVID restrictions, so we hope you're all doing okay. So I'm just going to share my screen. Can you see that okay, Alice? Yep, got it. Oh, okay. So uh, today we have three of our NT operators joining us today. So um, please welcome Caitlin Sorrell from Autopia Tours. Autopia run tours in the top end of the Northern Territory through Litchwood and Kakadu National Parks. We also have George Graham from Catherine Helicopters. George is one of the pilots at Catherine Helicopters and they offer a variety of heli tours around the Catherine George. And last we have Noni Romano from the Royal Flying Doctors Service Darwin Tourist Facility. They are based, uh, based in Stokes Hill, Wharf and Darwin and they tell the story behind the Royal Flying Doctor Service which was which started in 1939 along with the history of the 1942 bombing of Darwin. So welcome everybody and thanks for joining us here today. Uh, before we hear from our operators just a few updates I want to give you on the NT. It's been a couple of months since we've uh, last spoke. So where are we? Uh, if this is your first time joining us, you might be a little bit unsure exactly the NT is. It is top and centre of the of Australia. We have two main centres that we refer to. The top end, which includes Darwin, Kakadu, Arnhem Land, Catherine and the Tiwi Islands, and the red centre, which includes Uluru, Alice Springs, Kings Canyon and Tennant Creek. So COVID-19 here in Australia, we are on the other side of the Omicron outbreak in most of the states. So numbers in the NT have been about 800 a day over the last few days, which seems quite low compared to the rest of the country, um, but it's obviously a smaller population up there. The rules have been relaxed like most of the other states and to enter the NT, uh, you only need to be fully vaccinated if you're 16 and over, provide a copy of your vaccination certificate on arrival and complete the border entry form, uh, which can be found on the coronavirus.nt.gov.au website. So there are some exclusion zones in the NT where visitors are not allowed to visit. Um, there is more information about these on our COVID website, but these are mainly outside of the main tourist routes, so shouldn't be an issue for you. Uh, unvaccinated visitors are not allowed to enter the NT. There are some exemptions, but these generally do not apply to people that are wanting to come in for a holiday. For our Kiwi agents here today to enter Australia, you need a negative COVID test uh, shown prior to boarding, and you also need to wear a mask on your flight. So the NT seasons, as I've just mentioned, we've got the two main regions um, and they both have very different seasons. The top end, we're currently in the tropical summer, which lasts until April. It gets quite hot and humid. It's very similar to Asia. Temps get up to about 33 degrees and they have some amazing tropical storms come through. The waterfalls and the wildlife really come alive in places like uh, Litchfield and Kakadu National Park. The red centre is currently in summer, so like the rest of Australia and New Zealand, the temps get up to about 35 degrees there. It's a very dry, hot heat, uh, so it's definitely the time to come and visit if you've got a client who's wanting to get a bit of a bargain, but it's also really important to make sure that they're aware of the uh, seasons over the next few months. The campaigns that we have in market at the moment, we have our NT Summer Sale. I've talked about this in previous webinars. This is for our Aussie based agents only, uh, and it's running until the 31st of March. So um, there's still a little bit of time left. So you can save your clients up to $1,000 on their bookings of NT product if it's made through our campaign partners, and they are Hello World and Holidays of Australia. If you don't work, work for them, that's fine. You can book them, still book them. There are details on our website about how to do this, and that's trade.com northernterritory.com slash summer sale. So for every thousand dollars they spend, they can save up to $200. Uh, and it's a great option if you've got a client that wants to come to the NT and do some of those higher priced point adventures. Obviously, uh, customers need to be fully vaccinated to enter the NT. 
Um, we also f have for you guys um, and then some incentives on offer. So we have had 15 $5,000 packages up for grabs and we've already drawn three of those. So congratulations to, Laura, uh, to Lorraine, Shari and Terry from Holidays of Australia who have already won those. We've still got 12 packages up for grabs. Uh, so don't miss out. So these packages include $1,000 towards your flights and $4,000 towards NT product. So it's a really good way for you to tick off some of those bucket list adventures of the NT. Uh, to be eligible, you just simply need to make a sale through one of our campaign partners. Another campaign that we've just launched, um, it's the latest iteration of our Seek Different Consumer campaign, where we're encouraging Australians to reconnect in the territory with those closest to them. So we all know it's a great place to holiday and it's an even better place to catch up with friends and family and be able to take off those bucket list adventures uh, while they're here. So while we've all been keeping in touch with our loved ones virtually for the last two years, we know how important it is to physically reconnect. So this campaign's in market until the 31st of March. It ties in really nicely with the summer sale campaign. And I'm just going to play you one of our TVCs that are playing around the country from this week on mainstream TV, but also along with uh, some of our social networks. So I will just play this now. Never have we wanted to seek different more than now. We've been cooped up and kept apart from the ones we love. We've had time to figure out what and who really matters. Now we're seeking different and nowhere lets you find what you seek and who you seek it with, like the Northern Territory. Reconnect somewhere different this year. Catch up in the Territory, different in every sense. Uh, so we've got a, uh, there's three op uh, versions of that um, video in market. So you can check those out on our YouTube channel or you might see those on TV. I saw this video on Channel 7 in New South Wales last night, which was pretty exciting. Uh, just something else that's happening at the moment. Um, we will be running some seminars later this week with AAT King. So feel free to join these to learn more about uh, their latest campaign. They, there's going to be three seminars. They're all going to take place. They're all going to be the same content, uh, taking place on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. If you're interested in joining those, you can just email me, and I will send you the link. The link's just a little bit too long to be sharing um, over the screen here. So if you're interested, please get in touch with me, and I can send you those details. And they have got some really good prizes up for grabs as well to join those seminars. A few flight updates. So. You I'm sure you'll all be well aware that the flight networks have been quite unstable over the last month or so, and this is due to the airlines resourcing challenges with staff being in isolation, amongst border closures, etc. Um, so the, this chart here, there's quite a lot of information here, but basically what it's showing you is that from the end of February, there will be seven flights a week going into Ears Rock. There will be 60 flights a week going into um, Darwin and there'll be 17 flights a week going into Alice Springs and from April Qantas will resume their non-stop flights between Canberra and Darwin and they'll introduce new flights between Tan Townsville and Cairns um, into Darwin and now that the international borders have been announced to be re reopening this month these flights should hopefully keep increasing. Some of the new products that we've got in the Northern Territory at the moment, we have the Thinnis River Lodge. Uh, we're really excited about this new five-star luxury lodge, which is opening in the top end in May. Thinnis River Lodge has got six suites and offers all-inclusive packages. Uh, and they, that includes transfers from Darwin. So it's about an hour and a half drive from Darwin or a 30-minute flight. They have a range of activities available each day. They're suitable for kids and adults, and they've got experienced and highly trained guides they also have uh, will also be serving up locally inspired cuisine cooked by the resident chef. And Finnis River Lodge is actually based on a third generation um, grazing station. So it's a it's a pretty cool lo location. So the lodge is being sold exclusively through the tailor, who are a wholesaler, but and they will pay agents a commission to book their product. So to book at this stage, uh, you just need to book by contacting them, and that's at info at the tailor uh, And there's a phone number there too, you can jot down. Uh, to give them a call. They've also got a really great package on offer for the opening, which they will be paying commission on too. So there is, you can see more information about that package on their website. That's thetailor.com slash top end special offer. 
Um, another great deal in market at the moment, and this is actually um, a locals and trade special. So if you're interested in coming up to Kakadu and having a look around, then you're welcome to bring your family up and enjoy this deal. Um, it is accommodation at the McCure Kakadu Crocodile Hotel in Kunda Lodge. So um, it includes bed and breakfast for two adults and two up to two children for $99 a night for the Croc Hotel and $129 for the Kunda Lodge. And for every um, full paying adult that goes on the Yellow Water Billabong Cruise, the children get uh, child gets to tra travel for free. So it's a really great deal to book that. You just need to go to the kakadutourism.com website and it's on their special events and deals page. Some of the upcoming events that we have are uh, Pajama. It's a festival on light that takes place in April in Alice Springs. And Pajama is the only authentic Aboriginal light festival of its kind showcasing the oldest continuous culture on earth through the newest technology with the McDonald Rangers as its canvas. So each year this free event celebrates the artists who bring the desert alive with these new artworks and light shows. There's a program of performances and interactive workshops, music and films talks are so really interesting and really beautiful as you can see from this photo. More information about this can be found on the pajamaaustralia.com.au um, website. Um, million Dollar Fish, so I've talked about this in my previous webinar, that's running until the end of March. Um, if you've got any clients who are keen on fishing, then there's been eight fish tagged with a million dollars, none of them have been caught yet, and only 10 of the 112 fish tagged with $10,000 have been caught, so there's still plenty of fish out there um, to be caught, which is exciting. And just lastly, our trade training program incentive. So um, congratulations to our latest winners. That's Sean Armour from Southern World, New South Wales, and Simone Jane Mega from Hello World in Victoria. They both won a $5,000 package to the NT. This quarter, we'll be doing the same packages. So that's $1,000 in flights, $4,000 on uh, NT products. You just need to, have, for this quarter, to have attended a webinar to be in the draw. So you're all in the running, and this will be drawn in, in, uh, in early May. So that is it from me. Is there anything else? Were there any questions come up, Alice, before I hand over to Caitlin? No questions. Great. Okay, I will stop sharing my screen. And Caitlin, if you would like to jump on. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. And uh, welcome, everyone. Can you hear me all right? Is it all connected? Yep. I can hear uh, you. Let's have a look. Uh, presentation. Oops, there we go. And you can see my presentation. Yeah. Okay, okay. wonderful. Thank you. And uh, welcome to Autopia Tours and the Get Lost Travel Group. Uh, so we offer small group touring options through the Northern Territory. Um, we have several brands in market, um, but we who we are is uh, we've been around for about 30 years. We're a land operator who operates nationally. Uh, we've won several we've won tourism, tourism awards. awards. And um, here are our brands. So we have our FIT seating coach, which is Autopia Tours. We have Boutique um, by Autopia, which is more our series touring, uh, tailor-made uh, private charters, and then Australian bus charters. And that's all things, university groups, point-to-point um, -point charters, event management, transfers, things like that. So, yeah, so who we are and, and why travel with us, we offer inspiring adventures, we do things different, and we try to uh, be respectful of our landscape and sustainable in whatever we do. Uh, as I said, we operate all throughout Australia, but predominantly um, we're reliant on the Northern Territory this year, given we're a bit unsure of what the other states are going to be doing. But some exciting stuff that we have to offer you guys is a four day four wheel drive. And this takes you through the, the major parts of Kakadu National Park. Uh, we do the Billabong Wetlands Cruise. Uh, it's all accommodation is included. We have allocation set, which is really good when you're booking your clients because accommodation, as we know, is one of the hardest things to secure. Um, and yeah, we also include um, uh, an Aboriginal experience for those guests. Men will get to throw spears. Women can do some basket weaving, but this is on country. Uh, we head south, uh, taking in uh, um, 
Magook waterfalls, also Butterfly Gorge, um, and probably the most famous would be Jim Jim and Twin Falls. Um, we alternate depending on the seasons on which one's open. Um, but yeah, and then we move round. So we stay two nights in the Kakadu National Park, one night down at Pine Creek, and then it's back up into Darwin, uh, where guests can uh, head down to Mindel Market and enjoy the pleasures. So we depart Mondays and Thursdays, um, this tour, and it kicks off on the 5th of May. So we have seats available. So if anyone's got guests out there interested, feel free to give us a call, um, contact us. We work with all the major wholesalers. Um, we have API connectivity, which makes it really easy for you guys to book. Uh, we also have the five day version, and this is actually the four day version. And then we add on the Litchfield National Park. So this means that your guests can actually do pretty much all the major sites um, outside of Darwin in five days. Accommodation is included. Here we have two days Kakadu, one day Pine Creek, and then back into Darwin with a hotel overnight stay. So uh, the five day option is also available kicking off on the 5th of May. And for those that are either bringing guests through either on a cruise or whether it be coming through on the Garn and they've got limited time, we have the one day options. So we offer uh, a one day Litchfield, um, which heads out five, four days a week. Uh, so there's several departures for you to choose from. We use 23 seater vehicles for these ones, whereas the extended touring is four wheel drive 16 seaters, um, which is really comfortable. We also have a one day Kakadu. Um, now all of this information in this pack will be provided to you to refer to at a later date. Um, we also have a half day jumping croc. So we're working here with spectacular jumping croc. So we offer the transfer from to and from Darwin down to the crocs, leaving at around 7.30 in the morning, getting back at in at about 11.30. So it's a great little half day package to throw into um, someone's uh, overall top end uh, uh, travel experience. Um, so, as I said, we offer a number of different service tiers from your FIT seating coach, private touring or groups. So we like to be able to tailor for everyone and we offer a variety of different uh, pricing ranges from the budget right through to the luxury. Uh, we have several different vehicles available uh, for private hire, but also for our group touring. So if we don't hit our maximum numbers, we'll just move to a smaller vehicle. So it's a much more intimate experience. Um, we are following all uh, COVID safe travel things. Uh, we've got Q&R codes on all our buses. We run, uh, we have a policy in place where additional cleaning is um, taking place and just following all the guidelines as to reassure our customers. Um, as I said, we work through with all the major uh, booking channels from inbounders, wholesalers and online retail agents to local agents. All our products are commissionable. Um, any of the charters that we put together, we just provide you with the net and then you can actually put on whatever commission you like before you take it to market. Um, our booking terms, uh, so we, we have flexible deposits, no change fees and live connectivity, which makes it really good for you to be able to confirm a booking, know it's secure um, at, at the time of booking, which is really useful. Um, so our team is obviously a bit small. Uh, it's shrunk quite a lot since COVID, um, but here we have Paul Beams, uh, CFO um, and my business partner and myself, and then Kelly heads up the charters, uh, private touring and tailor-made packages. So she does a lot of the series stuff. So we can do series touring uh, that tailors exactly to your group. Um, and that can be anything from a one day to a 21 day. Um, and and that can be from four people to 50 people. So we'll just work with you, put together a package. Um, her details are there if you want to reach out and contact her. Otherwise, you can come through to the reservations team and we'll hand you over to the charters. Um, so as I said, you'll get a copy of this pack. It has all of our documents here. If you've never worked with us before, click the icon here where it says new partnership form complete the document and send it back to us. 
Um, we have our FIT rates here as well for you to download, which are available till the 31st of March. And I think that's about it for me. <laughs> Great, thanks, Caitlin. Um, just to, I just want to mention too that we will actually upload that pack to our website, um, right. so people can download it if they want to have a look. Were there any questions come through, Alice? Um, no, just someone saying that it's awesome that you've got Jim Jim Falls on your tours. Yeah, it is. I can't wait. <laughs> and I think it's also really good. Um, we do go to Butterfly Gorge, and there's not many people that get to go there. So Butterfly Gorge was actually, I'll just take you back, it's this first photo and it's just spectacular. Um, now obviously early in the season sometimes we can't get in there so we'll take our guests down to either the falls uh, so we'll just travel a little further south um, for that one. But yeah so it, it's good to have an allocation up there as well because um, that's one of the hardest things that we've found in the past uh, particularly with our private touring is just getting those accommodation. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. No um, problems. I went faster than I thought. I was like, oh. <laughs> I know we're well ahead of time. It's great to see. <laughs> um, I'll hand over now to George Graham from Catherine Helicopters. Hey, how are you going? Good. Alrighty. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name's George. I'm one of the team at Catherine Helicopters. I'll give you a quick run through about ask them the tours we offer and uh, obviously if you've got any questions feel free to ask them as well i'll just uh, share my screen as well all righty does that come through yep. yep all good thanks cool um so catherine helicopters uh, is a locally owned family business we're um, we're based in the heart of the Northern Territory. We're a small but hardworking team who have developed a, a tourism brand sort of over the last 12 months. We've diversified out of agriculture work into tourism uh, due to COVID. Some would say we did this the wrong way around, but it's it's worked with us. Um, our team consists of the company owners, John and Steph, uh, myself, Dylan, and most recently, uh, Cam has also joined. Um, we aim to provide customers with the truly unique and unforgettable experience on their visits to Catherine. And uh, we obviously want all our customers leaving with smiles on their faces and saying it was the highlight of their holiday. We're the uh, only helicopter tour company that conducts sunset tours in Catherine. We're the uh, only, uh, sorry, and we're also, we operate a unique aircraft, um, which is the Bell 47, I'll come to it in a little bit, but uh, that's the only commercially used Bell 47 in the Northern Territory. And we're the only locally owned helicopter company primarily conducting scenic flights in Catherine. As we are locals, we operate all year round. Although uh, the dry season is known as the tourist season, we do conduct our tour flights through the wet season as well. Uh, currently, the Catherine Gorge is full flowing with lots of waterfalls and it's, a, it's a, an awesome sight to behold, uh, which is obviously only available during this time of the year. Um, as Karen mentioned earlier, we are also part of the uh, Summer on Sale campaign. And um, and we also uh, use a booking system, Resdi, which uh, means that we are instantly bookable. All of our tours uh, are available online and their um, availability shows up live as well. We have an implemented commission rate structure, um, which we use throughout all our tours. We are also a quality tourism accredited business and are recent winners of the NT Big Rivers Best Customer Service Award uh, for Catherine. We operate a fleet of aircraft, starting with our Bell uh, Long Ranger. This is a six passenger helicopter, which gives us the ability to carry entire families together in one flight. Um, obviously, um, most families of four or five can't all fly together, so the Long Ranger gives us that flexibility. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our Bell 47, it's the only commercially used Bell 47 in the Northern Territory, famous uh, for its role in MASH or Skippy and the, uh, the uninterrupted bubble cockpit gives uh, phenomenal views. We carry two passengers in this, uh, in this machine as well, and you all have a front seat. We also have uh, a 44 that we sometimes operate uh, that takes three passengers at a time. Although uh, um, obviously each individual aircraft are pretty small numbers, 
Uh, we are able to cater for larger numbers, uh, perhaps corporate events or such forth. Recently, as part of the RAF Tyndall's Lady Night, we flew 45 ladies from Tyndall to our remote helipad where they enjoyed champagne and, uh, and a, uh, sorry, enjoyed champagne at sunset before we took them to a local restaurant. And so as you can see there, we had 45 of them perched on top of our hill in the middle of the uh, Outback NT. So I'll talk about the sort of little, uh, the different sort of tours we do. All of our prices um, are based on um, bookings of at least two people, but we can cater for single passengers and their, uh, their ticket prices are um, one and a half the cost for a single passenger. Uh, at standard tours, the heli tours as we call them, we operate uh, 10.30 to 4 o'clock daily. Uh, these are flights that don't land. Uh, they uh, primarily fly um, based around the Catherine region. So the Catherine River and Three Gorge tour is as it sounds. It's about a 20 minute, half an hour to tour, depending on what you're going on, right up to the Catherine Gorge in Jatbula, where we go all the way around to Edith Falls. And that's a, an hour long tour or so. Um, and obviously there's a range in between to, to see the Catherine Gorge, 17 Mile Valley and, and the waterfalls. Heli experiences, as we call them here, we do uh, try and do something a little bit different. Uh, the heli tours are obviously quite a standard tour. Our heli experiences all include a remote landing. Um, so the Sunset Special would probably be the highlight of our uh, products. It's been certainly the most popular tour we offer. Uh, it, it, it departs our base in Catherine. Uh, we fly out to the gorge. We look at all 13 of the gorges and then um, head for a couple of waterfalls, including Biddlecombe Cascades, which is actually a spring-fed waterfall, so flows all year round. It's only accessible to those people on the Jack Bula Trail, so the only way to see it is from the air. Um, we then head out to our uh, um, remote helipad, which we call Hilly's Hill, uh, where we enjoy the uh, sunset in a real serene location, uh, enjoying complimentary champagne and a cheese board. We spend about half an hour there uh, before we return to Catherine. And uh, this sort of developed after deciding we wanted to offer something completely unique to visitors. And um, oh, beg your pardon. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, just something we do a little bit different. Um, we do actually do that remote landing on top of our other tour flights. Um, so if someone wants to go a little bit further for that, say, Edith Falls tour, we can also incorporate that. Um, one of the other products that developed as a bit of a package was uh, that flight I just described with the sunset uh, landing. Uh, we've also added in a, uh, a drop off at Kumbiji restaurant, which is a fine dining restaurant here in Catherine. This is um, a really luxurious tour and I had the obviously the pleasure of taking my wife's family on this tour as well. And so I got to experience it from the customer's perspective. But this tour includes all the taxis and meals provided. Uh, so that's taxis to and from your Catherine accommodation out to us, do the helicopter flight and then home again once from that restaurant. So we drop you off right on the lawn and um, it is a real luxurious experience that we, we have in Catherine. Slightly bigger trips, we do do our Kakadu tours. Uh, they range, we've got two Kakadu tours we offer. The first is the airborne tour. This is a non-stop flying adventure. Uh, departs from Catherine, obviously. We get to see the western escarpments of the Arnhem Land Plateau, Gunnam Falls, Barramundi Gorge, Twin Falls, Jim Jim, 17 Mile Valley, Crystal Falls, and then back through the gorge. Um, in our Long Ranger, that takes uh, a two hour flight in the, um, in the Bell 47, that's a little bit longer. It's, uh, the machine's a little bit slower. We also offer the Airborne Safari. This is a full day tour, much the same as what I described above. However, there's a few stops included. Um, the first stop is at Coinda Lodge, uh, where you uh, then jump on board the Yellow Waters um, boat cruise. Uh, following the boat cruise, we have lunch again that's included um, at Coinda Lodge before we continue on the tour and check out the other sites of um, Kakadu. The day uh, is concluded at our hilltop helipad, uh, once again with champagne and cheese board to round off uh, the full day. Up and coming in 2022, these are a few things that we're pretty excited about. Um, we're developing a Beswick and Mataranka cultural tour. Uh, this tour will depart from Catherine, uh, head out into the Catherine Gorge before down to Beswick, where we'll get a hands-on experience with the cultural centre at um, Beswick. 
um, for a couple of hours before heading down to Madaranka for some lunch and a swim in the thermal pools down there. Um, so that'd be sort of that morning to mid afternoon tour. And we're also uh, putting together our Flora River National Park heli fishing trip, which will once again, will that be a half day tour uh, out to uh, the Flora River, uh, which is actually at the um, mouth, of, or the, not the mouth, sorry, the start of the Daly River uh, right down here, which then heads up into Darwin. Finally, we do offer bespoke tours. We've provided uh, helicopter operations for several special occasions, including birthdays, camping trips and weddings. Uh, the wedding parties have enjoyed uh, a remote NT location inaccessible in any other way. We are able to offer completely bespoke tours to suit the needs of each customers. Um, we really do just take it on board of what you want to achieve and, and make it happen. Nothing's too challenging. So that's all I've sort of got from me. That was a real quick run through of what we do. Uh, if you do have any questions, please fire away. There was Great. a question. Um, Denise was asking if the packages um, can be booked through Viva Holidays so they can be captured in the NT summer sale campaign. Uh, we haven't actually um, done anything with Viva, but there's no reason we can't. At the moment, it's been through Holidays of Australia, but yeah, we are. Okay. on board with that summer of sales, so that's something I can certainly look into. Okay, great. So at this stage, book through Holidays of Australia. Yeah. Great. Thank you, George. It was really fascinating. Um, some beautiful right. imagery there. It looked like some great tools on offer. Um, next, we have Noni Romano from the Royal Flying Doctors Service in Darwin. So, uh, Noni, I'll just get you to share your screen. Right, let me just get it started. Yep, it's there now, no name. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm with the Royal Flying Doctor Tourist Facility just on Stokes Hill Wharf. Um, we are part of the Darwin Waterfront um, precinct, so you've got a whole range of um, facilities at the waterfront that you can choose from, and it's just about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the precinct, but there is a free waterfront shuttle bus that will get you there, which does have um, operating hours between 11 a.m. to, sorry, 11.30 to 2 p.m. And then it restarts again for the dinner service, which is 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. So that's a good way to get customers straight to your door. Otherwise, there's taxis to come by as well. Um, it's a great location. We are on, we are part of, I think the only um, walking, working wharf in the world. So you'll get to drive straight onto the wharf and you'll be on the spot where Darwin was bombed in 1942. And um, part of the facility is also focusing on the Royal Flying Doctor Service, which was founded in, in 1928, but it began its aero medical in, in the Northern Territory in 1939, with the first base in Alice Springs. Um, that's actually where our sister tourist facility is, um, still part of the original base in Alice Springs. Um, yeah, so for the Royal Flying Doctor Service, we have um, our decommissioned Pilatus PC-12, which you can go and explore. It's got some radio chatter so you can um, feel like you're in the plane, it's got some LED lighting so you know it's all nice and, and clean and clear and safe to climb aboard. We've also got our virtual reality experience which has a pilot and a patient. So you'll get to fly over central landscape and so that's a really important way to sh showcase the two areas of the Northern Territory and you'll get to relive the experience of our patient uh, Jean, who actually had 54 heart, heart attacks um, on the plane. So this virtual reality was 
refilmed with him, the nurse and the actual pilot on the day. And we have our Reverend John Flynn hologram, which runs for approximately 17 minutes. And this was recently just updated. So you have our current fleet information, our current patient stats and some new patient stories as well. And the bombing of Darwin. So we have some models throughout the facility. You'll have a committal plane, which you can see there and lots of storyboards and you can see the replica zero hanging from the ceiling as well. And so we have also got our virtual reality for the bombing of Darwin, which is an eight minute experience. Both of the virtual reality experiences are start on demand. So our team can assist where required, but we also like to help the customers start the experience for themselves so that they can do it as many times as they like. We do have cleaning procedures as well after um, every after they've been used, they are wiped down and we do encourage customers as well to grab some wipes that they feel more comfortable. We've also got a, um, a sem another 17 minute hologram for Rear Admiral Etheridge Grant. It is an American story. Um, it just he, Rear Admiral Etheridge Grant kept an extremely detailed diary about his experience on the harbour and we were able to really translate that into an educational video about his experience in Darwin in 1942. And we do have four holograms throughout the facility as well. So you've got touch screens and that will also give you further information about the Royal Flying Doctor Service and also about the bombing of Darwin. And a, we have a projection window which comes to life every 20 minutes during the intervals between the movies. And so you'll get to see, as you can see, the screen coming towards you, but then there is also an aerial view as well. So you get to see the wharf. Um, at the moment, we are definitely focusing on our locals and intra-territory, um, but we do have a great relationship with um, some school groups who do come up and also when we will get the crews cruise industry back on track, that's also a great market for us as well. And we do have our socials that you can follow us and get some more information for. And at the moment, our admission structure, as you can see on, on your screens, um, all products are commissionable. And we do also have some great combinations, which are also commissionable as well. We have a great uh, deal with Crocosaurus Cove, Darwin Aviation Museum and um, C Darwin. I do have some information which I will forward to Kieran shortly, which will be able to be downloaded. And our opening hours, we do open every day. Two days of the year, we are closed on Christmas and Good Friday. And we, um, we have adjusted our opening hours slightly at the moment just due to our situation, but we are looking forward to reopening to our full capacity capacity shortly and there's my details as well. Great, thanks Nona. It uh, looks really great. How long do you think it would take to go through all of those displays? Uh, we like to recommend it at least an hour and a half. Okay, that's a nice filler and a, a really good price point as well. And um, Alice, was there a question come through? Um, there was just a comment from Leah. She said, according to feedback um, that she got from one of her groups in 2019, the bombing of Darwin, Darwin Harbour experience was one of the best attractions to visit in Darwin. Thank you. Makes me feel like we're doing a good job then. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for that, Noni. That was great. Um, that is it from us today. I'll just quickly, actually, there's another question coming through there. I can see. Um, Alice is there. Um, do we have any information on rat testing requirements for packs traveling to Uluru and staying at Ayers Rock Resort? Do packs need to bring their own tests or is there a testing station they need to visit? Um, well, I don't think we're testing on arrival anymore. So they, if they wanted to do it for their own safety, then they can, but they'd need to bring their own. But no, they're not at the like they're not at the airport like they were, because all the rules have changed. Um, so yeah, you don't need to have presented a negative test to arrive. 
Does that answer the question? I think so. OK, great. Rat tests no longer required. Yep. Yeah. OK, cool. So um, that just the details are on the screen now. Um, if you want to get in touch with me about it, anything that we've talked about today or if you want to join the AAT King seminars later in this week, just send me an email and um, this information will all be on our website uh, from the webinar today. So thanks for joining everybody and we'll see you again soon.